Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So guys, in this video will be the continuation of the previous video. Uh, okay, that we are routing. Okay, in this video I will be telling about how to route and with the controller that it should give the output whatever you are doing in the blade file. Okay, so if you are not understanding, just watch out this and uh, you'll understand it. Okay, so guys, first thing you have to create one file. Okay, that is your page file, front end file. That what you will get the output. Okay, so first thing you have to open your folder and run your uh, docs uh, HD docs into that Laravel file. Okay, so I have already opened with done with that. So guys, I am I am using Visual Studio Code, uh, Visual Studio Code Editor. That this is my text editor. So guys, um, so let's go to our resource folder into that and there will be a view okay so inside that a default page will be there blade.php so don't need to worry about that so I just I'll click on the view and give a right click and I'll create one new folder okay that uh, we'll mention it as employee folder okay so I'll just mention this as a folder because there should be no confusion where what I'm using it okay so there will be no confusion for you so I'm going to create one file inside that employee folder as employee page okay dot blade dot php just remember this dot blade file dot php it should be the same okay so it became small okay guys so you have to save with the dot blade dot php file okay just give enter and your file is saved okay guys so there is no confusion um, let's write some like welcome welcome to employee employee page okay so we have given that have uh, nice time okay so guys now how you want to view this onto your main page okay so for that it's uh, it will not work directly like a normal php coding so we have to serve and you have to route this so for that let's go to our routing so that is called routes or routes whatever you say so in that web.php on default file will be there inside that we have to give the route okay so in this route i'll be mentioning r o oops, r o u t e r okay route is to resource okay resource i'm using okay guys so just understand this why i'm using resource is I because I have already created one resource controller file okay so that is uh, into app inside okay let me save this okay inside apps app folder HTTP access controller you will get employee controller if you remember like if you have been watched my previous video that how to create a controller resource controller you will be understanding this okay so I am using this resource controller where in resource controller it cre it accepts that create store update delete everything okay edit and destroy so for that now i'm using over here okay guys so first thing over here first content what it's uh, by default it is giving user right so you have to mention over here your folder thing okay or you should give your route so i'll give as employee okay uh, Mm, I'll give my folder route only so what we have created is that EMP folder okay so I'll give that EMP folder so I'm giving that and over here you have to use your controller so that is employee controller okay so guys see here this employee controller is the app name in this inside the app employee controller dot php so just give employee controller and now the third step is we have to go to our 
controller okay so that is inside app htdocs controller employee.php okay so inside that you are you have the first thing okay so like first i will show you the demo that after creating one blade file i am giving the route to it so what will be the output for that okay guys so let's start with that php artisan serve okay to run the file you have to do every time php artisan serve okay so you have got it now it's running so let's go and i have already done with this and let me refresh it again yeah so you will get uh, this is the default thing what you have getting from the um, laravel thing okay that is welcome page so we have given a route that is employee folder just copy it okay copy and paste it over here okay paste and give enter you are getting a blank page because um, over here you are using and this employee controller is a default thing the resource thing will accept the index page okay so in index page you have to show what you are going to view on this folder okay on this web page okay so for that you have to return a thing that is return view okay r e t spelling mistake r e t u r n okay return view what you are going to view in this okay so in this um, first thing i am telling you that first value is should be what you are where the folder is so my folder is over uh, in resource inside views i have created a employee folder so that name should be there so that is emp emp folder okay then give a dot inside that folder what employee page okay so no confusion guys very clear and very simple employee page okay now it's done and we have given the route to the employee controller so employee folder is routed to employee controller and this index page will show you the output so what is the output will be this will be the output okay guys so now let's go back uh, check make sure that your php artisan service running okay mine is running so i'll go and refresh here guys boom so here is the magic you have got the output so guys this is a simple and basic how the routing works with the blade and controller okay so guys thank you for watching this video and uh, please subscribe my channel like the video share the video and thank you once again guys